Tinkercad Tips. This is going to be another tutorial on using textures that we bring in from images from Google to embellish or further enhance our 3D prints, the things that we make. And I had a follower ask about how to get these textures to follow the curvature of a surface, like we have this heart here. And in this case, this has been embossed into the heart. Now I do want to point out that using these textures we're not able to go around the surface of a cylinder. As far as I'm aware there's no shape generators that can help us do that. But we can take these and follow the curvature from one side of a particular curved surface like we did in this case. So let me show you how I did, the, did this. I'm going to go ahead and move this one out of the way. I have this heart shape here, and this is one of the, the shape generators. You can search this up over here. Just type in the word heart. I have my texture here, which was brought in from an SVG. I've left the quality at A here. So while that's selected, I'm going to hit Control D. I'm going to grab a copy of that. I'm going to bring this down here, and I want to resize this so that it covers all the way around this heart shape here. We'll bring up the height a bit to just over halfway, about like that. Check all four sides, nothing poking through. I'm going to select the two of those, do a quick alignment. Okay, now I'm going to select just that texture and I'm going to raise it up. Then I'm going to select on this heart shape here, our curved surface, hit Control D. I'm going to click on hole. I want that to be a hole shape. And I'm going to drag that up into that texture until it's just about halfway. Just for clarity, let's go ahead and change this to yellow, make it a little easier to see. All right, I'm going to lasso select the two of those, and I'm going to do a union grouping. I want that whole shape to cut into the texture. We'll give this a moment to resolve, and when it's done, it'll look like that. You can see where that whole shape's been cut away. All right, let's move back out here. Now I'm going to take what we just made, and I'm going to turn that into a hole. Now, without moving anything out of alignment, I can take this and I can move it straight down, or I can hold down the control key and use the down cursor. I have my snap grid set to 0.5 millimeters, a half a millimeter here, and we're going to zoom in and we're going to watch for this to begin cutting into that heart shape. And you can see it happen here. There we go, it's just beginning. There, it's cut in. See the difference there? That'd be half a millimeter. There's one millimeter. Let me zoom back out. Again, I'm going to lasso select the two of those. I'm going to click on Union Group, or Control G is another way of doing that. We'll let that resolve. And now it looks like that. So that's how you would take a texture and get it to emboss into the curved surface of an object that you have in Tinkercad. So watch for the next tutorial to come out. I'm going to do the inverse of this where I'm going to take a texture and make it raised above a curved surface. As always, like, follow, repost. Drop me a comment if you thought this was a good tutorial. If you have other ideas for Tinkercad Tips tutorials, you can drop me a DM. Happy tinkering!